Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 33 of Hanogato Sky Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ugh. Oh my god, that's a son of ponytail tomorrow. I mean, I might as well. I mean, it makes sense. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, look at the birds! They're cute! Okay. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Baby we just want to be helpful. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, mm -hmm. baby. Oh, now you're done. Okay, well, you'll be after I'm done with everything. Mm -hmm. See, you know what I want to know? Um, especially when we get to the end of this opening, if they add her as Majesty, it, it would make the most sense. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. <laughs> that was perfect. Just perfect. Like, yes! That's what we wanted! <laughs> Yeah, the symbol, right? See, I'm guessing the reason why the symbol has appeared is officially because all five of them now are pretty curious, and they're now a full-fledged team. <laughs> Wait, oh! Mm -mm. Is she going?
Yeah, we could get Indiana Jones. Oh, baby. But L wants to face that danger with you guys. So she has to go. Yeah, of course. Even though she baby, she completely understands. Mm -hmm. uh oh <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause she's so precious, you can never say no to the baby. It's like a dog or a cat. You can't say no to them. They're too damn precious. No, but she's making the floor. Well, it's not only a power just for the princess. It's really for all of you. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, she's definitely going to become Babyzilla. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I'm about to destroy that barrier like it's nothing. Yeah. Oh, but you can't open it. Oh, no, L! Uh oh. Maybe it won't open because you guys are just still in your civilian forms and you need to be in your prettier forms.
fucking dang, he is just digging his way down there. <laughs> See, right then in there, I would have just been like, hey, transform now. So we ain't got to wait. It feels so weird to see, like, them transform, especially with different music, but I get it. And I'm guessing it's just going to be a quick, we're not going to, like, get normally what we do. Mm-hmm. What about L? One thing I will say, and somebody said it last week, they don't really like the hair, especially, like, okay, this is only because, you know, the figures that come out for, you know, the series and such, um, I like the hair. Then I looked at the little mini figurine, and, and then it made me, like, the tone of it, especially, and it's more of her, like, side parts, her longer part of her hair. It makes it look weird because I think in certain pictures, it looks like a purplish green, even though it's like a purple, just, it's straight up purple and such. It's just two different types of purple. It's like a lighter purple and a darker purple. And it's gorgeous. But then the, the model, it looks weird. I was like, what, what did we do wrong? But I, I still love it. I would still buy it. Or like a blue, like a periwinkle.
book. Get the book. Please hurry, don't just stand there. Oh my god, we don't have time! Oh. I know, because you were scared. No, but we got to talk about this now. Nothing's really changed except, yeah, she's a pretty girl now, and she can fight, but still... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a pose. <laughs> Logs. I'm sorry. Toei. Fucking Toei. 
just they were like, yes, we're good. We're going to make history once again. And I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. I need a moment. Oh my god. Same. Oh, are you thinking here? It's Cambria. And I'm just like, oh, it's the baby. Like, I don't know. I can't do this. It's like, oh my God. This is only the second episode with her as Majesty. And I, I can't. I need this dang movie. Like, yes, congratulations for the movie to coming out this past weekend or really just a couple of days ago, but still, congratulations. Okay, this, I, I feel like this final attack for them, this is the most beautiful uh, final attack for everybody. I mean, th this move trumps everybody. Like, everybody's final attack. I'm sorry. Like, this is the prettiest. Like, Yes, when you think of every other season and when it is to their final attacks, like, I feel like, mm, it, okay, so this is my number one, and I'm not saying that, like, all the way back to Futariwa is, like, the worst. No, everybody's is still initially the best, but I feel like if we're looking at art and direction for it, this is truly the best final attack move for the group. And such. I feel like after, maybe before this, I think the other one that I really genuinely liked had to be, of course, um, Tropicals. And then Star Twinkles was very interesting. I really loved that one. Kira Kira's. And, I, of course, I love the hell out of Go Princess. Because <laughs> Go Princess. <laughs> in a nutshell. But it's really pretty. Aww. And I got a lot of questions about next week's episode. But seriously, I, I love the fact that, you know, yes, going back from last week's episode with Elle finally becoming Your Majesty and how Mashiro is very much like, yes, I'm happy she gets to fight with us. But at the same time, I'm very like she she's like a mom. OK, in the end, this is a family. There is, you know, three moms and a dad and such. Um. And of course, she is like the overprotective mom. Now, do not take that in a bad way. Take it in a good way because she wants to protect the heck out of Elchon. And I get that. I think if I was in her shoes or in any one of these four characters' shoes in protecting this little girl, I would literally do everything in my power to protect this child and such. But at the same time, because Elle is now officially a pretty care, it's like you have to let her go. And that is what Bachita was really struggling between last week and this week. It's like, because, yes, I'm happy she's here. I'm happy that she's able to be one of us and that it still stays in the group with all five of us. And we're all together and we have this relationship. But at the same time, because we've spent so many episodes protecting her and nurturing her and stuff. And we've come a, become a family to this child and such. And she's growing up in front of their eyes so quickly. Of course, yes, yeah, she's going to have the hardest time. Even with the fact of Sora's, like, you know, Sora and 
Agatha, and even Subasa, they were all feeling the same way, but I, they got over it. They were like, okay, I have to get over this. Like, yes, I want to protect her. And I felt like we're going to see a lot more moments where, of course, anytime when Elle does get hurt, everybody, or at least one of them, is going to be rushing to her aid. Because remember, at the end of the day, she's still baby and such. But I do love the fact that even with that, it just it hits home. I think for a lot of people, especially with having a parent who is, you know, overprotective and stuff. And like I said, there is nothing wrong with having an overprotective parent and such. I, from, and people think that is a bad, that's a bad thing. And I don't think it is because it, it's still, it's fine. Yes, you still have to let your child out in the world and such. I remember, I think, what, a couple of days ago, I saw this, like, I saw it first on TikTok and then it blew up, not only on TikTok, but Twitter. There was a, I think she, she's around my age. I think she was like 27 or 28. But of course, her mom still sees her as like um, the 17 year old and such. And so she was moving from wherever she lived at home to New York City. And I think she was officially going to school or something. And so her parents decided to say, okay, let's, you know, come you, let's walk from your apartment to your school together, which I was like, oh my God, that's an interesting idea. I love that and such. And so many people bashed the heck out of this post because they were like, oh, well, your parents are still babying you and this is that. And well, you know, because think about what the heck is happening in the world today and such. And so once again, it is, it's okay. I think it's okay. And it's just, you, you let them little by little, you let them fly. You let them fly and such. Even at my freaking big age, my my mom still, my mom is like the, the sweetest nurturing mother and I love her to death. And there are times where my mom is truly scared and such. And I, and sometimes I just tell her like, hey, you gotta let me go. You gotta let me do some things on my own and, you know, catch me if I fall. And, and just, I always know that my mom will be there for me. But at the back, in the back of my mind, I still know there will be one day where neither of my parents will be here and I'll be on my own. And I, that's a scary feeling for really any of us. And of course, we don't want to experience that. We want our parents to be with us until the end of our freaking days, but it don't freaking work. And, and I think, once again, that is how much don't really truly feel. So, but still, seeing those two together and hearing Elle say that she loves her is just so freaking cute. I can't. I freaking can't. But also, let's talk about this movie real quick. I'm just so freaking excited, once again, as someone who loves the crap out of Kaguya Sama Love's War, it's just to hear or have a moment with Cure Majesty and Cure Milky because of who they freaking play in Kaguya Sama. It's going to be the greatest. Now, if only, if only either Laura or freaking Monatsu got switched out with, um, Sanga, Cure Coral, Th then we would've been good. That would've been all three Kaguya babies up in this freaking movie, but it's okay. I am still happy, but I honestly cannot wait to see this movie truly, because of course I have to wait until next year. Um, From what people have been saying now, that I need, there's a list now of episodes that I need to watch for almost every season, and who knows, I might end up continuing, or I feel like because the uh, I'm about to say Futari Wa. Wrong show. For since the Yes sequel is coming in like three to four weeks from now, I think I'm just going to stop on Yes and I might go ahead and continue on Mahot Sky because I have a whole year until that spinoff comes and such. And plus, because you know, I'm really excited and everything. But who freaking knows? It, it's a maybe, but like at the, still, at the same time, like, yes, I would still love to see it. And I felt like between, if I had to choose between those two, and especially with like what was getting a lot more views, the Futa, I, I said it again, Mahot Sky was kind of getting more than yes. And so I'm like, that kind of makes sense for me. But who really knows? But yeah. Was this a really sweet, adorable episode? Like, oh my god, I loved it so freaking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 33 of Hidagato Sky Pretty Hair. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or Sunday for episode 34. Bye, guys!